Hashtag Bible Challenge 365 Day 186, Psalm, Chapter 109 To the Chief Musician, A Psalm of David Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me, they have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred, and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds, and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of the desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the strangers spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him, as he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth, I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them, when they looked upon me they shaked their heads. Help me, O Lord my God, O save me according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, that thou, Lord, hast done it. Let them curse, but bless thou, when they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion, as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor, to save him from those that condemn his soul. Psalm, chapter 110, a psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord hath sworn, and will not repent, thou art a priest for ever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen, he shall fill the places with the dead bodies, he shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way, therefore shall he lift up the head. Psalm, chapter 111, Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, in the assembly of the upright, and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth for ever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him, he will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment, all his commandments are sure. They stand fast for ever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people, he hath commanded his covenant for ever, 
holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise endureth for ever. Thank you, for joining us on day 186 of our 365-day journey in the Bible Challenge 365 series. We're excited to have you with us as we explore the scriptures together over the course of a year. If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Your support keeps this journey going and we can't wait to share more with you in the coming days. So, let's continue to learn, grow, and be inspired, as we delve deeper into the Bible Challenge 365 series together. And stay safe, and stay blessed, and God bless.